the ultimate buy signal has been revealed as markets are down again today. And what is the buy signal? Well, whenever markets are down, bond yields are up and the dollar is up. We'll take a look at the dollar and everything. But basically, that's been the seesaw that's been playing out lately as bond yields go up. The markets go down, risk on, risk off. As the markets go up, bond yields go down, risk on, risk off. And treasury yields are climbing as jitters over inflation and the Fed policy linger. We had Neil Kashkari come out today, and he said we are not seeing any signs of inflation coming down soon or, or even peaking. They're still seeing inflation go up. The core inflation that they look at, we have the next inflation print for... Uh, September coming out next week on the 13th. So keep an eye on that. If inflation comes out hot, that's just going to bolster the Fed's position and the narrative. They have all come out and said, we are going to keep after inflation until we get it done. We're not seeing it come down. The only thing that really has come down has been gas prices. And those are on the way back up with OPEC in their oil production cut and raising oil prices in the United States. So we're going to continue to, well, gas prices are already on the way up. We're going to continue to see that climb energy costs are going to go up, especially for heating oil, things like that. Uh, so if you're in an area where uh, you heat with oil, um, you're going to see an increase in your prices. Many of the uh, companies that deliver that have come out and said that it's very unfortunate. They're sending notice out to their customers right now saying expect higher prices this fall and winter so they can be prepared. Uh, so those things are going to weigh on the consumer as well. And then, of course, housing is correcting and rents are starting to correct in some areas, but again, those are coming down from very distorted levels anyway. So that's not really uh, inflation coming down. Those prices are still inflated compared to where they should be because of the distortion of interest rates and values uh, in prior, last prior uh, year specifically, but over the last couple of years. So still a lot of work to be done on inflation. Here's the Bitcoin chart right here. There is potentially a big move coming in Bitcoin as open interest is at an all time high. So we, that, we don't know which way it's going to go, either up or down. The probabilities are that uh, the downside is more likely, especially with a lot of people going long right now, potentially getting liquidated and then ultimately testing those June lows. The markets have tested and broken, came back up. Bitcoin is yet to test the June lows and the likelihood of that happening uh, with inflation coming in hot, with the Fed continuing to fight, and the difficulty adjustment uh, coming for Bitcoin on Monday, those things all collectively together could put enough pressure on Bitcoin to finally uh, bring it down to test that June low, see if it holds. And if it cracks, you know where the next levels are, 14 and a half to 15 and a half, 16-ish, somewhere in that range. And then ultimately, the major last line of support is in that 12 to 13,000 level. And obviously, if we have a severe economic event, if the credit markets break, if the bond markets break, if the financial markets have a collapse, then Bitcoin, crypto are all going to be right along with it because they're all kind of tracking along together because they are risk assets, as many people have learned this year that did not think crypto and Bitcoin were at all correlated to the stock markets, but they are all risk assets and crypto is the riskiest of all risk assets. Although Bitcoin has held its own pretty good here during this recent down cycle. So we'll see if that can continue to play out as we watch markets. So let's take a look at the traditional markets here. Here's the Dow uh, continuing its uh, decline here, unwinding this move over the last couple of days uh, slowly, but tomorrow could be the... Uh, ultimate crack uh, in the system here where markets decline back down and start to set in new lows. And of course, the narrative uh, the other day with the Bank of England um, rescuing the pension funds, the narrative in the markets were that the Fed would pivot or pause. And the Fed came out and said, no way, no how, not right now. So that's what's going on in the, in the traditional markets. Here's the VIX. And remember, as the VIX rises, uh, when the VIX is high, time to buy. That's when the markets are bottoming. And we haven't seen a major uh, event since you know the bottom of 2020 on the VIX. So these major VIX tops here, you know, you got to get up into that 40, 50, 60 level to really call it capitulation in the markets. And when the VIX is high, time to buy. When the VIX is low, look out below. <clears throat> That's the saying. And here's the dollar finding support right here on this trend line. Let's draw that out real quick. Here's a little trend that the dollar is putting in right there. And I know this has been a parabolic move, 
So the trend, you could draw it in a couple of different ways, but basically finding its main market support right there. Let's, let's draw this out a little bit more right here and extrapolate that out to this lower level. Doesn't really work out. So we'll just keep it right here. But <clears throat> this recent trend is where the dollar has been finding its major support. So the question is, is it going to break the 114 level uh, and go on to 120? Like many analysts are predicting, uh, we'll have to wait and see if that happens. 120, the last time we saw that was in 2001, 2002, the dot-com bubble. Yeah, we're already well above 2009 financial crisis levels. So uh, we, are, we are flirting with historical levels on the dollar, which is creating a lot of you know, trauma out there around the world in global uh, markets and global currencies. And then, of course, the next big thing to watch is oil, which is on the rise today. Is oil going to get back over $100 a barrel? That's where OPEC would like to see it. 90 to 100 dollars a barrel it's heading its way up there not too far from 90 right now when we get back to uh previous highs at that 129 level not all-time highs but recent highs uh and again back here in 2008 2009 before the great financial crisis 147 was a uh, high on oil so these are the things that i am keeping an eye on right now and i will see you on the next video